Knock, knock. I don't want to start, but it looks like we're going to do this. So let's get it over with. Nicole? Oh. Are you close to done? Almost. Hopefully they'll figure it out. <laughs> Paintballs are staying out of it. Yes. I don't want to. Truthfully, I did not come down here to start drama. I am shocked right now to see Jenny. Like, ugh, coming to New Orleans, we did not have a good relationship. I'm definitely not sure her intentions right now. We're not in a great place, but I don't want to say, I don't want any regrets, and I don't want to say that I wasn't part of your weekend over something petty. So I'm here for you with all the bullshit aside. There is a big elephant in the room, and I don't know if she's going to put the blame on me for everything still. I don't know if she's going to admit that, hey, I kind of jumped the gun with blaming everything on you, Angelina. So I want to see where her head is at. That night, what you did, I have no right to be mad at you whatsoever. I was like, is she mad about me dancing no. on him? Or like, just like, I would have danced with any of my friends. I'm, you know how I am. This conversation's gonna go on for five hours. Even though me and Nicole are like, let's get this freaking show on the road, people. We still think it is good that they're having this conversation because Maybe if we rip off the Band-Aid here, the rest of the trip will be copacetic. Um, but like I said, hurry up, Angelina. Hurry up, Jenny. Let's go. Let's squash this We're never going to get out of here. <laughs> I was so mad that like you took it in that way. Like I thought you were really just putting this all on me. It's all on me. I was like, here she is, being oh. mad at me and getting back with this kid. I made him leave the house the day that it aired. He has no excuse. I said, you're an idiot. <laughs> Chooch. <laughs> like, it's true. Yeah, it just was like, you're f get out. If I stay in this hotel room all night, I'm going to flip the f out. <sighs> Everything that escalated after that with Point Pleasant, which I'm sorry, that was like a one-sided battle and because I felt like nobody just told me the truth. Like, Vinny being there, knowing... Vinny knew more than... And I'm not trying to throw him under the bus. I was intoxicated, you were, and so was... Yeah, I, I was falling Vinny on the ground. Vinny wasn't intoxicated. He was the one that was coherent. I know. Vinny told me that it wasn't that big of a deal. He, like, reached around and probably touched, like, this area right here. The way Vinny described it to Angelina the next morning in Vegas. You were next to him, and he grabbed you like this and was touching your ass. Or the way he described it to the boys. Why? And he starts dancing with both of them like this. OK. So he made the first move. Yeah. But Jenny's right here. Jenny's right here. That's how Vinny should have described it to me. And that's what was so hurtful. You saw how he told me. At the end of the day, I come off like a psychotic person in Point Pleasant, fighting a battle that should have never been fought over something that never existed. Could your wife me? I would never be a that And all he had to do was simply check me and be like, here's what I saw. Never did that. I know. I feel like this is going to take forever. I know. They're going to keep talking. I think we just sneak out. Leave a no. The meatballs definitely don't want to get involved. We're here to party and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> yeah, the meatballs went to go get saucy. Yeah. So, bitches, enjoy your talk. All right, I'm going to leave the note here. Me and Dina are going to sneak out, and we're going to the club, and we're going to enjoy ourselves. Jesus, oh, they're going to talk for 10 hours. Oh, my god, they are. Angelina's and Jenny. And Jenny. We're leaving. Goodbye. Where are you going from from here? Like I don't know. I'm just taking it one day at a time. I knew, like I said, I didn't want to not show up because not showing up doesn't do anything for me and it doesn't do anything for you. I, I mean, I honestly think this was such a, a huge misunderstanding. Everyone was wasted. It was Las Vegas. I'm not a dick, but sometimes in life, I could be selfish. I should have thought about what Jenny was feeling. She was hurting inside. But I feel bad. I really do feel bad that she's feeling like that. This is just that we none of us need. I think we should the drama. There's no drama here. And just just be happy. Mm -hmm. Happy Angelina and I spoke, and that we brushed all the bullshit aside so we can have a really good time. Get in your white dress. You're getting married. I can't believe I'm getting married. <laughs> there are times to charm, girl. Oh my God, my life. Boo?
Wait, Jenny's gonna freak out when she knows we left her. Oh, she's gonna be fine. Hello? Boo? Hello? Oh my god, they left? What you mean I get bad? Do she jeans on my ass? Boo? I'm a boss, you a clerk. Over time, put in work. Put in work, put in work, put in work. Put in work. Where where are my meatballs? Like, where'd they go? Idiots, meatballs want to go to get saucy meals at Bourbon Heat when you want to party. Angelina! What? They went out. No, they didn't. I swear. And they just left me like, me and you like two assholes? Well, I didn't leave you. Thank God. Wait, are we going to a place? Or are we just walking? No, I'm, I'm swaying. Because of the cobblestones. I didn't ask for this. Are you ready? You've never been to Bourbon Street. No, but I didn't ask for oh, this. Are you ready for it? In it's, Italy? This it's is cobblestones. Johnny, stop! The <laughs> cobblestone street. Oh my god! It is cobblestones. If I twist my ankle, I'm suing. The vibe at Bourbon Heat is amazing. The music's blasting, everyone's in good spirits, and I'm like, yes, this is exactly what we needed. Hopefully, Jenny and Angelina will meet us out later. <laughs> I just want to have a good time right now without worrying about the frickin' drama. Well, I'm glad we left. Me too, if you want to still in there. Meepos don't like Are living. I mean, we're a show, but it's a good time, and I love it. White jelly dripping, white white jelly dripping, same color as Kush Cash. From the land of gold real, where they hover on chrome wheels, smoke chill, amnesia for light pills. Our boy Ronald. Yo, is going through it. My brother Ronnie looks like he is in a horrible place right now. I'm gonna keep reaching out to him and see yeah. see what happens, but... You've had your moments as well. We forget, you know, like, it took you a, a couple times to, to get where times. you are, you know? It took me actually four times. So what the f*** does this kid need to do, dude? Yeah, like, what is he gonna do? In my you're opinion, right. he's gotta man up, and he's gotta take care of himself first. Ronnie could be addicted to chaos. He just has to make good decisions, and those good decisions may exclude his baby mama, Jen, they're, they're in a toxic relationship and he has to put up a healthy boundary in order to live his best life. It is easier said than done. The common denominator in all these big events that you see on TMZ is Jen. It's also choices. She's one of his choices. Right. He's not making good choices. You have to have boundaries in life. Oh, he needs a electric fence around her. She's a trigger for him. He has to leave her, that's it. She's not good for him. And, and listen, I understand it's not my relationship, but I know it's something when I see it. We've been telling him this for two years. It's destroying this kid. I would literally tell him, like, you're physically getting your ass kicked. You got punched in the face, you got dragged by the car, now your teeth are, are f up. I don't know. Well, that's a dentist. <laughs> I don't know, but every single time you got a new physical injury. How much more can you take? You're physically getting your ass kicked. He just nods yes. He just goes, I was being dead ass. When am I ever serious? And I like, was serious. That's a wake up call. Yeah. We've literally told him, like, we've told done him a million times. A million times, right? And it's not like he doesn't know it, you know? Maybe he's just overwhelmed. Yeah, overwhelmed. Maybe he's just like, doesn't even know where to begin. What's frustrating is we know Ronnie is a great guy, a great person, a great friend, a great father, but we've been giving Ronnie advice since before Mike even got locked up, and he's still been going back to that same common denominator, which is Jen. If you was to have one shot at talking to Ronnie, would you take the soft approach or the tough love approach? The approach isn't soft, but it isn't hard. The approach is you just listen. Yes. I don't more of a message and no message. Anything to yep. say. I like that. I don't have anything to say either. You know what I mean? But I would love to hear what he has to say. Yeah. 
We've always said that Ron needs rehab from Jen. For whatever reason, she keeps popping back in his life, but they just don't belong together. So whatever you got to do to break that addiction, you got to do it. Well, we got to pray for him, because every time an incident happens, I'm always like, is this going to be the one that's going to change him back? Ronnie is a good person. He's just in a really bad situation. It's a lot, dude. Watch Jersey Shore Family Vacation every Thursday.